Ramey down low. That could have been a dunk for Jericho Sims. Two big plays at the rim to get things started. Go Sims waiting. Andrew Jones off to Jericho Sims. How about that kid? Most improved player in the league besides David. I thought Kay got a little bit of a chicken wing. He got away with that a little bit. Hesitation dribble for Coleman to Sims. That's what I like. I like when Matt Coleman goes downhill. The other uh, he's probably got a pretty good shiner here today. Oh, and, and Holly, they beat Texas Tech, and it was a street fight, and it had to be. Sims again. Yep. Another terrific feed this time. Courtney Ramey gets the assist. Don't worry, folks. Oklahoma State has battled back from three or four different double-figure deficits. Jericho Sims missed at the rim. Knocked out of bounds by Caleb Boone. Ten finished by M.A. Moncrief. Take a look now. Locked in man-to-man. -man. Keep in mind that they are usually a man-to-man -man team, although in this tournament the zone has been very effective. Sims an offensive rebound. And the Cowboy fans not happy with that call. Chip game. Iowa State. Their recent run of success, five titles, Oklahoma State. They do have two Big 12 championship game titles. They have not been in this game, nor won it though, since 2000. Those two free throws two nights ago, found with under two seconds, Matt Coleman buried two of them to put Texas Tech out of this thing. And to your point, friend, just barely rolls one off the rim, and he will shoot two. Rock Cunningham called for the foul. That's his third. The lead still at six. play well against Kansas State they did put, do some really good things against Oklahoma State but to start here and you talk about stars Jericho Sims going up and tear large portions of the Bedlam games but down the stretch that's where their issues have come here's Sims and you know where that's gonna land Brady Manick falls down and he trips Reeves has shot the ball much better now seven of his last 13 from the three-point line Andrew Jones pulls up. Jericho Sims couldn't get the tip. That'll go off of Gibson Reeves. You look at the way that Davion Harmon has stepped up. Moji Gibson. They've developed some depth, and that's huge for them. Ramey to Sims. What a start to this game. Back in fourth action. On the wrong side of the bubble right now. And North Carolina trying to stay off that bubble as a, a 10 seed in Joe Lunardi's latest brackets. This has become a dunk contest for Jericho Sims. I mean, he is. No one really standing around much on either side when they've got the ball. Sims between the legs. Jericho couldn't get the finish. Big man with the handle. Coleman to Sims. There's that matchup. Sims going baseline. Almost lost his footing. Oklahoma wanted to travel. Jericho Sims has... Oklahoma's really capitalized since Greg Brown left with his third foul. Febris into Sims, that'll work. Boy, that ball was moving. Sims going back to work, spinning. Another good defensive play. Here comes Austin Reeves, ahead. 
Matt Coleman has not scored for Texas. Into Sims, wide open. Well, that's a terrific play drawn up. Downs before that was saved. Ramey again feeds Sims and he flushes it. RJ Nimhard tries to play the point guard, however, he's more of a scorer. So because Mike Miles is the only true point guard, of course you're gonna have a few boneheaded plays and really a few careless possessions. That man tried to break the backboard right there. Like Shaq. Yeah. <laughs> About to shatter. Oh, Sims trying to do his part at the other end, and we're tied at eight. It at leads to one-on-one -on -one offense, which there's no movement, no real penetration. But they just need to get the ball moving more. I mean, consistency of the guard play is everything. You saw it right there on that. Uh-oh. Oh, Sims. The turnaround. Soft touch from Jericho Sims. Puts the shoulder into him. No. Andrew Jones comes away with it. Sims the trailer. He lays it home. Out. Three post against Samuel. Sends off the mark. His first miss. I like the double right there. Give him a different look. Sims, how about another? Bolton, who's not a natural point guard. Running the point. Yeah, and, and it gets more challenging. Sims with the flush. Sims. Gets a little call the game. He dominated against Oklahoma State. But it's a different situation for Brown. Here's Sims. And one opportunity for Jericho Sims. Well, I think it's safe. And Coleman Lands has been the difference for this team in terms of that perimeter coming in the game shooting over 40%. Yeah, 100%. When Sims is going to get the ball that close to the ones on him. Yeah, and Johnson's doing a great job of taking advantage of the space he's being given by these Texas guys who are guarding him. Now, Iowa State wants to say that Sims got that one. Optional, very similar to how he did in the Baylor game, with the exception of Texas isn't doing a great job of pressuring him, and he's taking advantage. Great position and a mismatch with Bolton, but a good recovery for Oklahoma State. Texas has lost four out of seven, so both teams are in a bit of a slide. Both teams are going to the big dance, but they both big game today. Sims in the paint, beat exactly what you and Law's offensive boards. Dives on the floor for the basketball. Whatever you need, he'll do. He does. He sometimes bites you in the sneaker. I know. That's not the steel Gillen line. Just <laughs> Sims jams it on. Well, things are tough. You can knock down the ground. Don't now. The line in the book, 0 for 4. But you know that back is going to keep shooting. Lob there, Sims off the catch. Sims inside off the feed from Coleman. Sims not a great offensive player, but he's it. Coleman Cunningham caught off. So kick out. Ramey goes look inside. Sims in the paint. Still can't hit. So the over from the. Not eight points. They just take to play good defense now. No foul. Sims dunks it down. T for Texas. Sims. Sims goes right at McCormick. And he has a chance for a three-point play. Christian Brown squaring off with Kai Jones. The lob. And just missing it. Was well, Jericho Sims. 15-point deficit. And they've got a one-point lead coming up on seven minutes to go. Ramey down the lane. Gives it up to the easy flush of Jericho Sims. Right now in this second half on McCormick, just like he did at Allen Fieldhouse. He basically shut him off there, and he's done the same thing here. Lobs it to Sims. And Texas, with four minutes to go, has him well enough. Sims shakes and bakes. Ended up too far under the backboard. A little contact. Coleman underway from the Irwin Center. Three guard offense, a lot of pick and roll, a lot of what we call ghost screens. Good finish inside. Right off the bat, John. Got him. Got him. 
Brad will play football for the Longhorns. Here, Sims with Culver on it. Good day. Sims inside, tried to reverse, couldn't do it. Rebound pulled down Matthews here at the Mountaineers. There's more room in there without Shibway, and he's gone. He's off to Kentucky. I know you don't want to belabor the point, but you could see the spacing be that much better. Sims answers at the other end. Maybe trying pass. to find Sims. Brown collects. Sims, rebound, put back. It'll go. Yeah, he's dominating that offensive glass. Last two games, he's got to give them a little bit more offensively. Brown tries. Look at Sims, a rebound. This and a Look stop. at this guy. Basketball. Don't worry about the stats. But he just picked up a second. Osaboy in with the bucket and the foul to, to go. Make sense of that. He can't make the free throws, but he makes the foul line shot. Yeah, there's Sims in close. Yep. They just trade guys off. It's like a 2-3 matchup zone. Everest team to rescue. Now back to Coleman. talking about solid rebound there after the miss by miles miles and brown former teammates look out below jericho sims violent see the zone there the tcu is playing they're going to force texas to have to make shots going inside is a good look to jericho sims and he's off to a strong start the, the jersey's won and that, you know, this isn't, quote, unquote, a, a blue blood, if you will. Oh, no! Jericho Sims bent backwards to bring it down through the cell. Made by Kevin Samuel today. And that was driven by the high screen and then dive into the basket and not enough left to keep him from scoring that close. He's a, <laughs> and he was limping around. Because I think he was showing how to close out, right? Yeah. Ended up straight in his cap. Oh, yeah. Jericho Sims making it look easy. Brown missed the floater. Offensive rebound brought Cunningham. Back down low. Jericho Sims left it short. Boy, that's way too soft for Sims. We are underway. Oklahoma State in the white. Texas in the burnt orange. Good nice. feed. Sims as Coleman finds his man for the dunk. Just start it off. That's a week. The guards are going to play a lot of isolation basketball. Sims inside being harassed. Step back a little short. Rebound is pulled down. And let's talk a little bit about Kate Cunningham. How do NBA teams see him? What are the things they really like about him as a player? And Sims puts it home. They go to the line. The layover. A little zone now coming out of the break. Timeout. I think right now Texas is not attacking to catch that ball and Kate Cunningham. You know, that's one of the issues. He's not playing with great talent. Gotta finish that. Much of the Big 12 season is Kate Cunningham taking over in the second half. Back the other way, Sims. Offensive rebound and he puts it home. Jericho gets Texas a chance to take the lead. Back to man to man, it looks like now for Cowboys. Sims inside, shot short as Boone contested. Yeah, see, Jericho, just like you like it, Texas, North Carolina in this championship game of the Maui Invitational by Camping World 2020. Coleman. That is Coleman. No. That's okay, let it go. Your, your game defensively. Shaka's got them playing to where they believe we can guard these guys. You don't need to double team anybody. Well, Shaka, we want to put Shaka's hair. We want to put Shaka's hair. So much fun to be there. I got a little discombobulated though because it was it was very confusing. But what was Most confusing folks, about Sports Center? They they were they were asking questions. Right, but they talked a lot. Young Lyndon Baines Johnson, who was then maybe the youngest congressman in the United States, 
from Texas there, the role that he played. Because all these guys like FDR and LBJ, Earl Alaska, they then went up to Alaska. And the, the airlines were trying to sell some tickets in the day, so they made a promotion. That if you bought a ticket to go to Alaska, they'd, get, they'd allow you to come home through Hawaii. And so the great point of raising money for Habitat for Humanity, just absolutely spectacular. And were you on that last tour he did before the pandemic, the, the celebration of the last waltz at 40 years? Okay, against this Bobcat ball club. Isaiah Small with the miss. That's the guy that Terrence Johnson says will be the X Factor. Jericho Sims, watch it on somebody. Well, he was challenged. And scoring four points off that. And off the inbound, Kai Jones right onto the bucket. Sims the rebound, not enough for the first time in a long time. Second time, no. Texas State fighting for this one. Third time, no. And the rebound pulled down by Isaiah Small. So even with all those. The bridge from the coach that preceded him and Coach Casper and these young men. Nice finish by Jericho Sims. A great finish. Another sighting there. But trying to. After his sophomore year to get indoctrinated into Villanova basketball, it's worked out really well early. 14 per game so far, 47% from three. Jericho Sims, the six. Sims and Jones. Look at this matchup. Sims, Gillespie trying to knock it away. Sims over him, misses the turnaround jump hook. And we get a... Sims calling for the ball. Got a size advantage on Swider. Up, no good. So he's had a couple of opportunities in the post. Shooters, aren't they? And somebody said, actually, they're even better passers. They just get such good shots. I thought that 2018 was his goal. Oh, look at that Sims with the throwdown. He's capable of that. Here, though. <laughs> Sims with a size advantage now on Swider. Banging with him, backing him down. Tip no good, and finally the third time is true for the Longhorns. It'll be Sims. Listen, Cole Swider knows that, you know, Nuttall has, ha has had to carry a lot of the load offensively, and it's just difficult when you're playing against a Texas or Texas Tech or LSU. Yeah. He provides this a team that scores 83 points per game. They scored 100 plus in their last three games, albeit against competition a little different than Texas. Dallas Christian on that other shot that we had seen, a little longer floater, but just the aggression going back up, using that physicality, trying to use some of that right there. Something you talked about for Sims as well. Yeah, Jace Febris getting up off his spot on the sideline. Beautiful take. Gets the roll off the bounce and the finish. And not all is going to get his. He the three and Baylor has jumped out to an 8-0 lead. Unbelievable. Butler is shooting the rock the last few games just in incredible fashion. His three-point shooting is off the It's unbelievable the way they move the basketball. You said it so well. If teams move the ball and get player movement, you're going to get good shots. And the game of basketball is about taking good shots like right there that was a good shot three feet from the goal so, so one thing when you look at it john the bottom line is tech texas got three l's they're all close games the good teams they lost the villanova in a battle by four they lost the texas Tech. incredible and now the coach is back shock smart was pretty open about the fact that he got COVID and it kicked his butt i mean he was feeling nice Look inside and got to give Derek Culver some space. They're going to go four out around him and try to reverse the ball and have him go one on one on the interior before the double comes. And the lot to Jericho Sims. That was a main versatility. Basically, can guard one through five. And you saw that in the Kansas game where they did a lot of switching and he got out and played guys on the perimeter with ease. Got down on the stance like a guard. Rain. Whereas for years we got used to seeing that from Bill Self's Jayhawks. Oftentimes, they play a much smaller lineup this year. Well, both teams play essentially a four-round-one type format. And here's the... the It's not Guy been that Jones kind of individual performance yet. 
Where a lot of good energy on that Texas bench. Seven and one around. Gonzaga's time was changed. Moved up to eight Eastern. Woo! As Coleman gets to the rim and slams it home. Nobody defending the rim for Kansas. And, and a little bit of this, Jay, is in part due to the Duke Florida State situation. When it's not Bolton, who's not a natural point guard, running the point. Yeah, and, and it gets more challenging. Sims with the flush. Sims. The game he dominated against Oklahoma State. But it's a different situation for Brown. Here's Sims. And one opportunity for Jericho Sims. Well, I think it's safe. And Coleman Lands has been the difference for this team in terms of that perimeter coming in the game shooting over 40%. Yeah, 100% when Sims is going to get the ball that close to the bottom. Yeah, and Johnson's doing a great job of taking advantage of the space he's being given by these Texas guys who are guarding him. Now, Iowa State wants to say that Sims got that while it was in the... It's been exceptional, very similar to how he did in the Baylor game, with the exception of Texas is doing a great job of pressuring him, and he's taking advantage. Great position and a mismatch with Bolton, but a good... This is the best starting team the shock and smart has had in six seasons at Texas. And Jericho Sims showing some ring. And Coleman puts down the rebound. So really, you just work through the circumstances. Nice find. Couple inside the Sims. How about Sims making himself an ankle injury that he's still coming back from, but they're expecting big things from him as he matures. Sims with the follow. Sometimes just putting it up. Sims on Bradford going glass, nearly a very difficult finish. Their leadership, of course, the defense that Febris has shown tonight. Nice touch by Sims. He wants it back. He's going to get it back. <laughs> I'd be remiss if I didn't bring up McGraw in his press conference. I watched this young man as Sims finishes emphatically around the basket. But like any we've seen in a long, long time here on the 40 acres. Yeah, and this uh, has a chance to be one of those teams that are that's talking oh, about. Oh, no, that's only one-handed from Jericho Sims. I mean. Shot clock gets to 10. Looking for Sims. He has it. Spins, shoots off the glass and scores, and right away, a chance for Jericho Sims, and he converts on the first possession. They can do it. That's what Shocker expects out of him every single night. Catch and shoot three, missed by Jones. Another opportunity in the lob from Greg Brown to Jericho Sims. Every single game, maybe not every single game, but majority of the games, you know what's going to get out of him. A shooter, the knockdown open shots, knockdown contested shots. Jada Coleman Lance has done his thing this year. How about Sims? In their lone time leading this game. Sims been saddled with some foul issues tonight. He shoots over Solomon Young. Inside, Sims, two feet in. Oh, he threw it down! Because they were carving up the man to man. Sims on the elbow. Spins, no call, puts it up, and it rolls off. There's Cunningham. Look at this kid keeping the ball alive. Matt Coleman knocks down both of the technical free throws, and it's Texas basketball with a seven-point lead. Oh, too easy. Oh, too easy. And another highlight yep. for Jericho Sims. They go a little pick and roll versus the zone. A dozen for him, and it's a two-possession ball game again. Sims, another dunk. Great pass. That time they used the ball screen and create. Chris Pierce talked to Jay Wright about it. The staffs have connected. That is by design, Dunk. And there's a big momentum shift because the Red Raiders bench was up and on. An opportunity like that if you're Kyle Edwards, you've got to let it fly. Short. Who else? Jericho Sims with the follow. Who else? That's a new seat than Matt Coleman. Ten on the shot clock. Sims. Short. Brown can't follow. 
A three. Can Johnson rattles home the three. The hand in his face. Uh, now we're back in midseason form, Lance. Let's go. Jericho Sims under the bucket. Here comes Maka. More importantly, not only play them, you're building around them. And that's a little early, I think, for some of those guys. A strong suit for Jericho Sims. Sims inside. That's what Shaka Smart wants. For players coming out of Minneapolis, they're doing great stuff up there. In the high school level, hopefully the healing. It was awesome. I was on 13 Zoom calls yesterday. Huh. Is that a new record? No. We got a break and we're throwing back from Steph Curry. In. I have not. Have you? No. I mean, he, he's, he stopped returning my calls years and years ago. He talks to Bob McKillop quite a bit still. Not that they don't want to take. Force them to miss it. Don't worry about blocking it. Don't foul them. They make it. You get it back on the offensive end. Throw it down one time. Again, they're allowing penetration. It's fantastic. You're talking about bringing people together. You're talking about standing tall. You know, you know who's also standing tall? Is uh, Corey Alexander. Uh, the broadcast has two fouls. Brock Cunningham with three fouls. Good find to Jericho Sims. Throwing it down. Off the feed from Matt Coleman. Texas needs that young man. They need Sims. Have new money goals? NerdWallet can help you find the credit card to make them happen. Want to earn enough points for a weekend of fancy camping? We have options for that. Maybe have a better credit card than and six for six. Febra's four for four. A guard goes to the free throw line, and they're automatic. Well, that's good coaching. And Chuck is going to play the platoon game on the second free throw. Hey, but you've talked about it. Texas ramping up the defensive intensity. Just not able to find mismatches right now. Jones. Oh, my goodness. Andrew Jones. But Davion Hart. Courtney Ramey putting the ball in play. 11 points in this second half, 13 in the game. Matt Coleman puts it home, and the lead is back to 10. Coleman playing point with Jones still on the bench. Into Sims, finding Kai Jones. Good look from Sims to Jones and Kai. He can get up, and he can put it down. The Big 12, some guys are playing in high school against Big 12-level competition, and that was not what Greg Brown faced. He's got another three, though. Well, he's got a down 10, by the way. All right. We're still in this game, guys. Ramey as they kick opposite. Got it. Big three. Good look from Sims. If something is going to give him a chance in the NBA, great ball movement to Kai Jones. Hold that dunk. Been in games like this that they won and lost. They're very explosive, particularly on the perimeter. The Texas will have to close them out. Brown for three, trying to make heck of a finish though. Before or after stepping on the line. Yep. Here comes Sims. Yep. Step. Oh, we got another guy that can throw it down. Uh, Donovan Williams. How are you doing? Make them drive and give up twos, not threes. Ramey the handoff to Sims. Now Ramey for three, another one for Ramey, and it's a two-point game. And do that, you got to chase him. But you're not really forcing anything, taking what comes to him. Sims over to Brown, but gathering the offensive rebound. Back to Brown, chance for and one. The Brown of the three ball just changes the whole complexion of the game. Sims inside finds Brown. Brown the throwdown. Look out! Oh my goodness! And over Kansas in large measure because they've shot the ball so well from the perimeter in the second half. And Courtney Ramey, effective use of the dribble, draws all five defenders in the lane or to the right. That means which is staying positive. We're breaking the season down to a day by day. Try to win that day, if you will. I've heard Shaka reference that. So that's the best you can do, Shaka. You I'm sorry. So far, Goose Egg for the Longhorns offense to start this second half. They go inside to Sims. Out to Coleman. Left-handed three. Got it. In front of his own bench. 
And Texas. Shot fake by Andrew Jones. Gives it up to Sims. Stripped away by Cunningham. And recovered in the corner by Moncrief. Cunningham off a curl. Hits from the foul line. And a steal. Bryce Williams read the entry pass. And he connects for... Oklahoma State, 70% man-to-man all season. In this tournament, a little different. Foul called on Jericho Sims. A shove in the back of Keelan, of Caleb Boone trying Jones when he throws it in. Oklahoma State now needs a takeaway. It's into Ramey. They'll get him double teamed. Quickly outlets it, and Jones is fouled by like... Incredible amount of ink. The Epson Eco Tank. Just fill and chill. Great pace to this game. Andrew Jones knocked away to Sims. And man, it comes away with it. Oklahoma with numbers. Ladee, it's not there. For Ladee, the Ohio State transfer, two points after a career high 20 against West Virginia on Thursday. Make you a better team coming down the stretch. That was wide open, couldn't hit. Offensive rebound. Oh Jericho Sims hammers it. But it's a turnover. I wasn't expecting that, but okay. I don't think I've seen Mike Miles do that. Here on him, it's just, it's not pretty around the basket. Foul number three for Azir Bolton. Sims inside, too many steps. Now that's where Jericho Sims gets into trouble. The Red Raiders. Spitz been asking him to be more aggressive, attack more. Eight of the Red Raiders 20. However, Sims turns it over right into the hands of McCullough. So here's Matt Now, but Terrence Shannon Jr., I mean, the tough is not a question with a pretty nasty ankle injury. He's still getting it done. Into Sims. Red Raiders collapse. On the deck. Santos Silva got the deflection. McClellan. Shaka Smart said, we've all seen altercations among players. Happens all the time. Said, I don't know if I've ever seen it, though, with a 14 or 16 point lead before drives it floats it can't get it to go offensive rebound jericho sims throws it back oh, out play. driving play by brown and gets the timeout these, these guards don't mind playing one-on-one -on -one. don't oh, mind him now the only the only bad thing now is Osaboya not a great foul shooter. Fishing under the basket at his size. Well, you know Mike Miles wouldn't stay down long. No, you did low, but we're not talking about a big man. Throws at them. Namely, they're getting into the seams with, with ease. Texas may be a little fortunate there not being called for the going and getting the ball if he's in your area. Foul is called. Sims trying to free up Courtney Ramey. The overall 30,000 foot, foot picture of John McClendon is this. He is one of the greatest contributors to the game of basketball ever. You say... And they're just inside the three-point line. Sims had it for a moment, and then it's taken away as likely has it. Likely to the basket rejected. In that zone, Cowboys. Feed inside to Sims. Sims bottles, and he traveled. The other thing, Fran, is he's a little... You talk about delivering peak performance on command. Did you ever sit there and think as a child, boy, I... I hope Michael plays well today. Nope. 
actually Davis, who's the son of Dale Davis. And then Race Thompson, the race is on. But right now, without Al Jamie Durham, what is Archie Miller going to do? Built tonight for the NBA. Nice finish by Shelby Adams. And from that, a relationship was born with Shaka Smart and Terrence Johnson. They continue to stay in touch. And Johnson says Shaka Smart is like a big brother. The loss for Villanova. He's gone to the bench. Cole Swider has taken his place. Good screen. Nope. They got him for a moving screen, I guess. Sims called for the foul. That's usually the fault of the guard. In this case. Comes out with a little token pressure. We've seen this a few times this game. Where Sam Houston has a long time out. For Adam Flagler, the transfer from Presbyterian, coming off the season I-19 against Auburn inside, and that one will go for Jericho Sims or will it? Yeah, both these teams, both these coaches have created good culture. Loose ball, Chama Chachua. And it will go possession arrow. Dick, one other for bench. Very fortunate, though. Sherman on the switch down low. Both went with the cutter. Left Sherman wide open. Oh, Saboya knocks down Coleman. The rim from him. Ramey the kick. Andrew Jones wide open. Got a great look. Can't knock it down. But Texas had it briefly before turning it back over to the Jayhawks. get Rogier on him it's just it's not pretty around the basket foul number three for Rogier Bolton Sims inside too many steps now that's where Jericho Sims gets it basketball at all but it's always continuing education with Shaka Smart in this program yeah that's a, and and to that point guys being excited and happy and loose out of three I think Tyler Harris is one guy who, who I think can create penetration and really drive and create, but he settles for a lot of threes. And they shoot a lot of jump shots. So I think those are the two reasons. For those of you just tuning in on ESPN2, it's the Texas Longhorns and the Texas Tech Red. Gonna play in the league someday. That three by McCuller cuts the Texas lead to five. This is as close as they've been in a long time. And now Jericho Sims called for the travel. Running the point for the Longhorns. He's out there with Courtney Ramey. Again, no Andrew Jones. Held out for precautionary reasons. Early turnover. Here come the Vaqueros. Brown from the corner. To Sims. Sims out of control. Offensive foul. Lou Hill. From that Blazer team. A uh, little turn there by Sims. Defender went under. Sims rescreened re again. Likely. Kate Cunningham gets caught behind the backboard. Oh, man. Versus one up. And Brock Cunningham. He'll try a three. Swatted by Boone. Taken back by Febris across the line. Keelan Boone to guard Andrew Jones when he throws it in. Oklahoma State now needs to take.
for him, making it easy for his big fella. Oklahoma two for three from deep already in this game as Harmon's inside. Since OU almost 430 without a bucket. Manic, a little up and under. Standing on the floor. They are really smothering every one of these Oklahoma offensive players. Lonis Williams strong. And already they're they're at six. So they're getting to the paint. They're driving the basketball and they're making things happen. And as I say that, Alonis Williams makes eight is a good team. And, and those were high level basketball games. And it's just a matter of time before Oklahoma finds their groove again. Nice move from Manic, the little hit. Texas lead back to five. Williams drives on Brown, who got a piece of that. In the lane, Jaden McGee now coming off a career high outing, 20 points against West Virginia. Second chance, easily blocked by a step, but rejected by Samuel. The top shot blocker in the Big 12. Right. Very efficient. That's what happens when your guard set you up and make you look good. Easy points. Take the shoot. Miles around Kai Jones, and he dropped. Easily inside for two. So Texas by 10. TCU, such a young squad, no scholarship centers. PJ and the finish, so get a lot of points in the paint. It's really helping the Longhorns early on. First field goal for Texas in over three minutes, but then a defensive break and run it. Santos Silva guarded by Sims inside. Here comes the double from Coleman. Shannon attacking again. Jalen Wilson off balance, soft oh. touch, down to six. A little over four minutes gone by in the second half. Brown sets up a Baji who hangs, hits the underside of the rim. Talk about flipping the script. They blew a big lead against West Virginia Saturday as Wilson hits him. Kansas, that's been the difference in the game, really. McCormick leans in, goaltending. But also, he, you know, you got to play calls as soon as you get it in. It's Garrett off balance. The follow by. You're not only throwing the, to the offense, you're reading the defense. Jalen. And they got Kai Jones for a travel. Footwork. You got to know, see, 80. Again. That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? 8 Eastern, number 7 Virginia at Cameron Indoor Stadium, squaring off against Duke. It's a sonic blockbuster. And coach Smart trusts him so much to be a coach on the floor, if you will. He's a key element to how this team goes in terms of personality. For the long one, cranking up the intensity on defense, them hard. It's been a battle lately. Sims is there. And I really like every one of Brown's possessions so far for Texas. He's not forcing anything, taking clean looks, also playing with a level of poise. I like it. Yeah, very similar player. Both sometimes get outside of their envelope, but they can clean things up. Ramey still has not scored. Todd with the drop. Three for three from deep. I wish we could do statistics on when he's square. Longhorns having lost four or five coming in, including three in a row. Pack in the lane. He's in Texas women against TCU. And then the Texas men against Iowa State Thursday, February 18th. ESPNplus.com slash Big 12 now. 17. Remember, he was scoreless without taking a single shot for a bulk of the first half. Kazuki. 
Puts it in off the glass. Create space with step backs, pull back moves, can shoot, you know, off of rhythm dribbles. So I don't think that's going to be an issue for him at all. I wasn't around in 79, but as we, as I got to know who Coach McClendon was, it was an outrage because he was a great coach and not just a contributor. Lost the handle. Cunningham takes it away. Cowboys basketball down by three. Oh, nice. Pretty good move. They'll have to make that three ball because the zone keeps those three guards from driving to the paint. Cunningham a step back. Pace for the Longhorns. Avery Anderson. And that's pulled down by Jericho Sims. Coleman like lightning tosses up with Coleman. Saves it. Kuma got a hand on it. And he's got it. Anderson swoops in, challenged by Sims. Jericho Sims took it away. Unbelievable verticality right there. You're not for. And he needed to get off to a good start tonight and has. Williams from the corner, rims it out. Well, guys, keep in mind, Texas had yesterday off. Cunningham, that was a brief rest. He's back on the floor, and it's back into the post to Boone. Boone to Boone, as Keelan missed one at the rim after Caleb. Found him cutting down the lane. I see him coming back in with three fouls. No, no question, Bob. You got to get it, get it to a manageable halftime deficit. And a miss by Moncrief on the front end at the line. Averages seven rebounds a game. How yeah, about a point guard that's <laughs> in the top five in rebounding in a Power Five league? That's less likely. How about your two point guards? Are Keelan Boone to guard Andrew Jones when he throws it in. Oklahoma State now needs a takeaway. It's into Ramey. They'll get him double teamed. Quickly outlets it and. the first meeting with Oklahoma in Austin as well as Shaka Smart. KT Turner acted as the head coach for that game. Everyone missing for COVID protocol. So one text. Harkless pulls up and Sims rips the rebound down. For him, making it easy for his big fella. Oklahoma two for three from deep already in this game as Harmon's inside. Sims another rebound, his fourth already. The skill. Alondis Williams going at Sims. That's one thing they really like about Jericho. He can pretty much card anybody. Well, look at Sims just sitting in a stance to guard that ball. Manick steps back. Can't get that one. Sims has rebound number six. To Williams. Skips to Reeves. Reeves sets up. And Jericho Sims continues his dominance on the glass. Oklahoma started the game hot from. Zebras with 11. Harmon almost lost it. Harkless can't get the roll.
Sims aced eighth rebound. 14 and 10, double double is second of the season. Reeves, no, and Sims rebounds over Quest. Boy, Matt Coleman really held his ground there. He, he took a beat. Hard twist. Sims another rebound. Well, Andrew Jones did his job right there. He really locked into Elijah Hart. Yeah, he scanned the tickets. There we go. 17 to 11, Texas with the lead. TCU plagued by turnovers, eight of them. Texas has compiled five dunks in just the first 10 minutes. Sixth dunk of the night for Texas, and the third by Kai Jones. Nemhard, the fade. Sims the rebound. It's off the mark. His first miss tonight. He's five of six. Nemhard leaning. No. RJ Nemhard leads TCU with nine points on offense. Well, they share the ball for one, and they got their main guy, Solomon, going here early. That's really been what's been the drug sell. They pressured the Bolton guys. wanted it all, missed it. But that should be a new shot clock. And here goes Andrew Jones in transition. No stopping him. Trey Jackson for three. Quick release, Sims. Rebound number six. And you know, speaking of Sims, that has ignited him in terms of his energy level and what he's bringing to the table. He's basically dominating this game with the minutes he's playing on both ends of the floor. And that was since he got the second. Chuck is one knows his players. Coach knows his players. Uh, but I would get a guy back in. I'd say another two minutes guard. You don't want him to be too stiff, you know, sitting there too long. Has been outscored seven to two since Jones left the game. Back McClung still trying to get off the offer. The zero for McClung right now. The line in the book. 0 for 4. But playing through the ankle injury. That's the first free throw miss for Tech. Santos Silva banking his way inside on Sims. Fight for the rebound, and it is a fight for the rebound. Who wants it? Everybody on the deck. It's a tie up possession to Texas, but the was one on three there. Yeah. Shot selection is important. McClung attacks, tries to throw it off. Play on. No foul. Sims the board. Texas wins the battle. Big 12, baby. No blood, no foul. First time. Texas still doesn't have a main bucket in the second half. Credit the defense by Texas Tech. This one rolls out. Sims has the board. Got to push it. Jones, Ramey, and Coleman really struggled in that first half. Two of 13 combined for that trio. Texas has played. Yeah, they get a stop and a score. They're right back in this. McCormick set up Garrett. Garrett couldn't knock it down. The rebound to Jericho Sims. And Jericho Sims done is for the super talents. Uh, but you know, you know how it is. I mean, when you're when you're that age, we were all the same. I mean, a friend of yours makes all city, and you think, well, I'm good as Brown to Garrett. Won't go for three. Offensive rebound McCormick, but he lost it. Had it right in his hands and lost it on the bounce. It's the league's best record. Then Friday, it's Lakers Blazers. And then on Sunday, they'll host Steph and the Warriors. All three of these great matchups are also available on the ESPN app. Sims not able to corral it. West Virginia does. Yeah, no question. Texas looks sharp. Remember, this is the first of a three-game Texas one of the mistakes that you're talking about, Lowell. Kevin Samuel known for the high percentage shots. One of the best field goal percentages in the Big 12. That's Nimhard. And Texas really wants to try to make him inefficient. They know he's going to shoot hard. Really is unheralded. He is not a name that quickly comes up when the discussion turns to the best in the Big 12. But the numbers suggest he is. Why is that? Why is not you defense? Such a luxury, literally on both ends of the floor. Sims rattles out. Pearl Bannock sleeping on the defensive end and out of position. So Nimhard to the line. And then, well, 
One of two. This basket he was scoring. Now lost the handle. Here come the props. Nimhard contested. Sims wreck a lot of havoc in the tournament. Again, if they had not appealed their postseason ban, as Kazuki missed the layup for K State, it would have been a tough finish for the freshman. If they had not. Some kind of a, uh, affiliation where they continue to have to deal with the effects and battles that are related to COVID. Now, remember, Scott Drew contracted it very early. Texas doing a lot of switching with all on all switching looks like all five positions especially where pack is concerned is about as good as i've seen them with the exception of their last last kansas state game that they played they were very similar perhaps even more explosive easy and they're not taking away the easy looks from beyond the arc for a very hot texas team nigel pack misfires sims the one-armed rebound Kansas State throws at them. Namely, they're getting into the seams with, with ease. Texas may be a little fortunate they're not. A little bit of space in and out. Offensive rebound, Antonio Gordon. And Gordon is such a hustle guy on the inside, but just could not finish. Meanwhile, Kansas State shooting 50%. They've hit eight threes. McGurl wants another. In and out. The end of this game today against Chaka yeah. Smart. And yet, he was very open about the idea that when you're talking about the advancement of, you know, African Americans as co you know, he's yeah. got all the makings of a really good player. Just yeah. Yeah, I had a chance to talk to him. We we zoomed in uh, in November, and I just was impressed with him as a young man as well. Now they're going to post likely. Williams gets inside. Hanks can't hit. Jericho Sims pulls it down. Well, they had him on a roll. Likely gets inside. Sims pulls down the rebound. Here's Coleman. Do you have music playing in the background? I thought that was the ambiance from the... Jim, Caleb Love for three, that's no good. I you, you always say have the music on. Well, Sims is a pretty big dude as he steps out there, but and they're gonna get a whistle but, against Jericho but, Sims. But but that's by the measurement. It's not how big the guards are, what their measurements were. Please, Ranger. Jones we're, missed we're in the three. privileged position there. Foul. I am I love this up and yes, you're a member of the Blue Ridge Rangers and you're right. Oh, well, that's and that's why V-Week week's so important to so many, and you were talking to Hannah about that on SportsCenter before this ball game. Right, so Han Hannah's dead perb. Kai Jones has done a very nice job as well. They've all got age and experience. Although when Coach Wooden was asked about having an inexperienced team, when we... I know you love music. Uh, I do love Jericho music. Sim, you know, Joe Haynes. Now, he and his wife, Steph, uh, and their nine-year-old boy, Hudson, have just moved out of Asheville. They've moved up uh, into the metropolitan New York area. But just incredible. And the celebration of the last waltz at 40 years. Uh, you know what? I missed it. Sorry to oh, say. Oh, it was just phenomenal. They had all kinds of the guys from the last waltz come yet. You know how it's Can't Potter's both birthday. Sides. You know how it's Potter's birthday today. Yeah, tomorrow is Augie's birthday. Augie's had you know, with that ball in front of him and does exactly what you need to do: throw ahead and let these athletes finish. Alonzo Sule, no good on the mid-range J. Texas coming out playing with some swag, athleticism, plenty of upside for a guy that still is trying to figure it out. That one left far short by Caleb Asbury, who just checked into the game for the Bobcats. Three. It's some offense from him on the block. And Texas has all but negated that. He just gives them an, another dimension. Brown, the light block there. 
but a stump nonetheless. Ramey, the hands of Caleb Asbury. Back to the Bobcats, Asbury for three, no good. Here comes Andrew Jones. Quick three. If he sets the trends right, I think we can probably go along with that. <laughs> Three from the corner and out there for Cole Swider, a junior from Portsmouth, Rhode Island. And he can shoot it coming off the 13th and up. But everybody's doing a good job blocking out. Gillespie misses the mid-range jumper. Eric Dixon is into the game. Big fella, red shirt freshman, coming off a 14.10 rebound out. They didn't have a shot. Too much dribbling. Too much. And too much length, Greg Brown. Absolutely. Yeah. You knew that was coming. Greg Brown starting to get his feet under him. Set. Gillespie with a tough pull-up way off, and the rebound to Sims. Yeah, he's forced the last two shots. He hasn't really gotten it going today. Greg Brown squares up and buries that one. Oh, yeah, and this started in Texas State. Nice action here. Anytime he gets to have the vision to find the open man, he knew where his teammate was. Baba trying to muscle his way inside, got it blocked by Sims. Sims good athlete, good defense. <laughs> uh, bad pass right there. You don't need that hot dog stuff around the back. Turning it over right now. You don't need that. And if they're wondering, Texas battle, they got a couple blocks here in the second half, a couple steals. Flagler give off, Davian Mitchell, step back. Look at that Kai Jones, Sims. are you kidding me? Oh, that was Sims, that was... He's got 22 to lead the Bears, and Baylor on top in this one by a dozen. Look inside, and that one getting away from Pryor. really challenged thus far. We've got time on that clock. Mitchell from the elbow. Short. Sims rebounds. Rainey Sapp. Draw a little help and just throw it up in space. And the big fellow punch it home. Long shot from Kohler. That's about the extent of his range. That time he tried to spin quickly. Six minutes to go in Morgantown. Texas down three, trying to cut into that lead. Andrew Jones, Sims trying to keep it alive, batted around. Greg, 1A to Gonzaga's number one, Mark. Yeah, Kevin, coming down the stretch here. Number four, Texas, number 14, West Virginia. Three-point lead for West Virginia. Presents some matchup difficulties for Texas. Greg Brown, the elite freshman, is going to have to guard some different people out on the perimeter. Ochai Abaji misses wide right and down with the rebound. He's to extend the lead. He began the season making his first 14 field goals, and three of them were three pointers. Now he's cooled off some since then, but he is really a force off the bench in another game, shooting 44% from three. Brown the kick. Wilson a wide open look. And Kansas getting some decent looks from beyond the arc, and they've been a great three point shooting team this year. Greg Brown and is fouled on the drive before the shot. Number three on Greg Brown. They're good passing teams. It's good shooting. No question. Kansas stand with a small lineup. No true inside guy in the game at all. And Grant Foster who on offense. Well, they share the ball for one, and they got. Their main guy, Solomon, going here early. And that's really been what's been the drive for Baylor Excel. They pressured the Bolton guys. wanted it all, missed it. But that should be a new shot clock. 
And here goes Andrew Jones in transition. No stopping him. Trey Jackson for three. Quick release, Sims. Rebound number six. Yeah, and, and you know, speaking of Sims, that has ignited him in terms of his energy level and what he's bringing to the table. He's basically dominating this game with the minutes he's playing on both ends of the floor. And that was Kai Gordon back to Kansas State. That's big. He is their Cunningham in terms of their energy and glue. Good move by Rudy Williams. No good on the bucket. And Rudy Williams harassing Rudy Williams. But Williams gets it back. Hard charging. No good. Jericho Sims with the rebound. Sims has played a game after not playing at all in the previous game. Nice save. And it is Bradford nearly beating the buzzer with a bucket. Texas up on the Wildcats at K-State 44-24. McGurl, deep three, no good. Sims to Coleman. And the Longhorns will sit on this one and take it in the offense, particularly Jones. I think when he does that, I think he gets a little contagious to, for their roster. No good for Gordon outside. If you're Bruce Weber, what do you do? You know. For those of you just tuning in on ESPN2, it's the Texas Longhorns and the Texas Tech Red Raiders. The only battle in college basketball tonight. The unrestricted arm. And Greg Brown in jail right now. Yep. With foul trouble so he goes to the bench Santos Silva his first miss from the free throw line tonight he's got 10 Jericho Sims has wild shot by McClung but it's saved by Santos Silva these are not good shots for Texas Tech the rebound to Sims here's Levi Coleman guarding him into the paint the kick out no good from Uche to be be able to finish at the rim with the lineup like Texas has. Ray down low. Cannot get it to drop. Nothing is easy to your point around the rim. I mean, I'm sure that's part of the agreement when you get them to sign here. They're not going to sit on the bench. No but by to be a mock up. More importantly, not only play them, you're building a run. Sims is so athletic. They've really got to bring waves this season when they're running the floor. And Jericho Sims did not block that, but certainly affected it as Doc Nelson was going through the year. That was a really good roster. Isaiah Taylor, Javon Felix, Felix, excuse me. Demarcus Holland really came into his own the senior season. It, that's, yeah, of course. I'm following you. Steph Curry is no longer there, correct? No. <laughs> no. Hi. <laughs> the athletic Surgery last March. He is a fixture in the rotation now. Ty Jones off the mark. But TCU couldn't save it. 
multiple figures. Now with 10. Ladee doubled. Sims takes it away. I like 19 that double right turnovers. there. Pivotal moment here in this second half of the first half for Iowa State because Texas can catch Jericho five. Sims with the good hands. Greg Brown. <laughs> Abaji like lost it. Great. Jericho Sims finds it. What great defense by Matt Cole. Here's Miguel against the lanky Kai Jones. Looking for Antonio Gordon. Deflected. Loose ball. And a foul against Antonio. Coleman is really an extension of Coach Smart. They have such great chemistry. to the key element to any good ball club. Your point guard and your head coach needed to to this because when I was an assistant coach I had great mentors who didn't just have me recruit look at this But uh, teach him teach him how to be a head coach And he's had some of those mentors in his background as we ball NBA watch this pass right here right on the hands and If you throw that ball to a you know an NBA big man he will catch that ball and Kate Cunningham You know that's one of the issues. He's not playing with great talent offensive sequence here of the day You ever been to Irving, Texas? I have been to Irving, Texas, yeah. You've been he didn't get set is what created the foul in that situation. Number 11, JV on May. You've been talking about the junior from Chicago, Illinois. Coach Hooten talked a lot about it. It's called like Baylor. They can't afford to allow Baylor to go on a spurt here in the last four minutes. Meyer looking for space. Couldn't find it. Jones. Points in the paint heavily favoring Texas. In fact, their first five field goals today all came in the paint. That's ill advised with the length of Sims. That pass and West Virginia with their fifth moment here in this second half of the first half for Iowa State because Texas can catch Jericho five. Sims with the good hands. Greg Brown Booth has nine points, has not played in the previous four games. It does not matter. Stay ready, Lance. Back to back turnovers. Well, he has been the definition of red button open. They can play with anybody in the country, any team on any given night. They're just as good. But sometimes they just like the consistency, they like the ball movement, but they can do it. Though. I've seen it firsthand. They can do balance with this roster for Shaka Smart, where you have the upper end talent, but finally you've got veterans up and down the rotation. Yeah, and I, I don't want to belabor the point, but I, I want to speak. Winding down, picks up his dribble. He will repost on Jericho Sims. Three to shoot. Up, under, and in. Faded away, but it was good ball movement. Likely, his pass deflected. Losing his footing is Jones. But able to replace Ramey, so. A bigger lineup on the floor now for Shaka Smart. on Thursday 10 to shoot Samuel against Sims puts the shoulder up deep he has a lot of tools like you're right he just has to be able to get it mentally then he'll excel now with 10 Ladee doubled Sims takes it away the top seven all of them in the top 25. The teams are going to make the tournament in the Big Ten. Only about five of them. And in his mind, he has because this is what he's been building towards. It was evident by the way he handled himself when we talked to him. Go straight up with it. Sometimes he's catching it on the way down. Yeah, and Coach Smart has talked about that, and he can do that on the Colt Big 12. I mean, it is every possession, every dribble. All contested, which makes fun basketball to watch. That's a travel turn. I mean, you'll, you'll see uh, Coach Penders with both the guns up and the hook'em horns. Santos Silva banking his way inside on. Get a wide open shot. It's a long way to go. Texas is an excellent offensive team. Santos Silva. In He's so athletic. 
McCormick across the lane. Comes up short. Player, too, at times, but he's had a great year. McCormick in the post on Sims. Leans in. Can't get it to go. McCormick, the jump hook. Yes. There, John. I did the Texas Tech game in there earlier in the year, and it is strange. Players, coaches, everybody. Culver Matthews here as he gives off. And McBride finds Culver. Quick double team, and then Coleman comes back and Sims. Good matchup here, Samuel on Sims. And a travel call on Kevin Samuel. For these games, and that one was about making the teammates better. McGee with the rebound. He tries to get them. Eight point lead for the Longhorns. Samuel. Harassed by Ramey. Here's Miguel against the lanky Kai Jones. Looking for Antonio Gordon. Deflected. Loose ball. Really an extension of Coach Smart. They have such great chemistry. So the key element to any good ball. Things that. He wasn't doing two years ago. And I, I remember he's he's certainly grown as a player. That one goes opposite. As likely feeds inside. And boom. I wasn't around in 79, but as we as I got to know who Coach McClendon was, it was an outrage because he was a great coach and not just a contributor. You're just trying to squirt that thing up and hope you can get it up on the rim. Here's Nigel Caesar. He's had a strong start to the season. That's the screen for Harrell. Back too small. Down to Sule. Sule gets it past Jericho Sims. And here he is. I mean, he is a force now for Texas basketball. Ten-point lead. Sule forces it up. Some block shots. And he is in the infancy of his development as a player. How about his field goal numbers on the season? After that, three. Here's Culver on Sims. This is going to be a good matchup all day. And he turns spin. Paint heavily favoring Texas. In fact, their first five field goals today all came in the paint. That's ill-advised with the length of Sims. Culver on Sims. Sims played nine minutes of the first game time. Saw that lead disappear. It was tied at 57. But now Bob Huggins' team has gone on a 4-0 run of their own. Well, you want to pitch it back out after an offensive rebound and try to find your three-point shooters, but McNeil was a little bit too far. Well, Coleman with a bucket to make it a three-point game. Boost your retirement savings now at aceretirement.org. and in his mind he has because this is what he's been building towards it was evident by the way he handled himself when we talked to him sometimes he's catching it on the way down yeah and coach smart has talked about that and he can do that on the regular nice. 10 points has not played in the previous four games it does not matter stay ready Lance back-to-back -back turnovers uh, Peppa now with a career high four three-pointers They can play with anybody in the country. Any team on any given night, they're just as good. But sometimes they just like the consistency. They like the ball movement. Young at the other end, the jump hook, a little foul. A uh, little turn there by Sims. Defender went under. Sims rescreened re again. Likely. Recognize clock. He had nothing out front. And he's done this really well all night long. Get to the basket. And there's a big time rebound by Kai Jones. this entire season but especially over the last three games you switch it on the low side Andrew Jones making you pay
Reap. Who can take advantage? Is it the size or is it the skill? Alondis Williams going at Sims. That's two second differential. Reeves with Sims. Steps back. Tough three. Banks it in. They have not been able to find mismatches and they haven't been able to exploit anything in their offense. Reeves going at Sims. I mean, look at the defense right there. <laughs> they are his hustle stealing a possession for Oklahoma. Williams wants a mid-range jumper. Quest. Trying to get Samuel inside. Out of bounds. Two tech. Well, Samuel almost bubbled it, but he does. Against lesser athletes around the basket. This is what Coach Smart's been looking for for him all season. And no dribble, right? Correct. No need to. Here in this second half of the first half for Iowa State because Texas can catch Jericho five. Sims with the good hands. Got his yeah. with And he's anything but a little guy. Coleman Lance. I of that. I, I, I've only asked that because as we've seen over the years, at times it seems like it's been a grind or a and a half minutes of the first half. Wastes no time in getting one up off the bench. It's a good look. Woo. Santos Silva, defensive break. Chris Beard was the head coach of the Angelo State Rams, Division II. He was coach of the year of the Lone Star Conference. Abaji averages about two and a half threes made per game, second best in the league. Now it's McCormick down low. Fourth in the Big 12 in rebounding. He averages just under eight rebounds a game. He's fourth in blocks. This is just way too easy. Tells us that 100%. Missed the last game against Iowa State with a non-COVID related illness. Samuel, nice position and a nice finish. Career, or whether you have a career at all, the known factors of Sims, though, are there and good enough for him to do what he does and do it well. So much on youth, Bradford, Pack, and Miguel, the true freshman in the starting five. Here's Mike McGurl, the only senior. Six to shoot, Miguel on the perimeter. Looking inside, and he finds Bradford. Of course, coming off the microfracture surgery in his left knee in March. Yeah, and he's the one weapon that I think Coach Smart feels here. Right on the hands. If you throw that ball to a, you know, an NBA big man, he will catch that ball and Cade Cunningham, you know, upward. That was the 23rd birthday for Andrew Jones, an 11-point effort in that win against Texas. Cats team against Texas Tech, and they just all but got obliterated out of the gate and coach Hooten, i mean he was he just wants to see his guys competing i think we're seeing that tonight and then defending ball screens which he knows texas there are veterans on his floor and he got a lot of experienced players higher pulls up step back higher. turnover jones has 13 of the longhorns last 17. Butler step back three. To have the vision to find the open man. He knew where his teammate was. Baba trying to muscle his way inside. Got him talking to you about some college basketball stuff. And you sent me a signed book and a thank you. I don't know where I Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs>
that had to pause all basketball operations after that loss against Oklahoma State. It wasn't just quote so glowingly about where things are and what they need to do to try to win here. 19 turnovers didn't help him establish any rhythm. Five to shoot. Here is Bain, the top three-point shooter in the big. Six to shoot. Nemhard inside. There's a lob to Samuel for a dunk. With eight points on four or five shooting, both teams pretty efficient. Texas at 50%, LSU at 63. That rap. Eight to shoot. Jared Butler double teamed. Tough shot. Off hand it over that right. And it ends up with Coleman. Saves it. Kuma got a hand on it. And he's got it. Anderson swoops in. Challenged by Sims. Line for only two points. And yet, the Cowboys only down by five. Here's Anderson on the move. And he will go to the free fishing breakfast of March Madness. Who can take advantage? Is it the size or is it the skill? Alondis Williams going at Sims. That's him going. This is super unusual to see him so quiet. How about the defense here? I mean, Jericho Sims is putting him in handcuffs. When this team is hot and this team is going, this Texas team, they can play with almost anybody in America. They're, they're that good when they get going. In the lane? In this game on the digital platform, so... Yeah, you scan the tickets. There we go. 17 to 11, Texas with it. They hit eight threes, but 18 turnovers have been killer. Ladi off the spin, and he's fouled. Yeah, just Unreal. those three guys. Yep. That's the oh. Oh. His knee. Still no word of he actually does get into the game, or that's anticipated as Sim. Ramey picks up his third foul. Sims nearly got a piece of that, but Johnson. Abaji lost it. it. Jericho Sims find that on the game from that point on. Well, it seemed to have an impact. I mean, I know that the Fran Fraschilla pointed out during the broadcast that for players everywhere, that's not a, a, an excuse for things. They had a player, players only meeting and, uh, you know, competitive people have issues like that. Uh, oh, good hit inside, couple of fakes. One out of this first half. One of the things we've seen with Texas as the year has gone on, Chaka Smart. Don't need to jump through any crazy hoops. What's in your wallet? T Mobile knows the new year brings big news. We're having a baby! He's on the offensive end, but he does willingly so many things for this team, as you saw there with the night. Against the Duke Medical School, and, you know, back in a time when Jim there was Crow. no. Uh, into thin air, among others. Oh, yes. Oh, that's his book. Yeah. Wow, that was fantastic. I, no, I know the name of the book, and I read the book. And get it done. If Texas wins, they will play the winner of North Carolina Stanford. up to the hoop and it is Drew Tenille up hoop. that was the 23rd birthday for Andrew Jones an 11 point effort in that win against Texas Brown had come into this contest 5 for 24 from behind the three point arc but was three for team against Texas Tech and they just 
all but got obliterated out of the gate. And Coach Hooten, I mean, he was. Jesus. You know, he mentioned that Vegas team. That was the Larry Johnson, Stacy Morgan, and Club. Butler looking for some space. Butler probing, gets a piece of the paint inside, gets it to go. Watching it. Yeah, Kansas has not run great offense, but terrific pass with that right hand to get the ball to Brock Cunningham, who's a just a sophomore. The trigger and drawn a foul, waited a little longer, and a chance for the Cyclones. Still no word of he actually does get into the game, or if that's anticipated, as Sims with us from outside, with majority of those shots set up by penetration. Bolton, no. Ramey picks up his third foul. Look, Sims nearly got a piece of that, but Harris almost juked himself there. Young on Sims. Lefty off glass, no. Career wearing number 22, Casey Eziagu, is also a key piece. It would be a difference maker for this Wildcats. Spoke so glowingly about where things are and what they need to do to try to win here and you force the ball to the sideline right there and look at look at look at the coleman that shot there's sims again on the switch watch him move his feet the texas bench is up and loud for this defensive possession the most consistent of the number one teams it almost seemed at the start of the year as vital swoops in and he gets it to go with the left hand Shot fake by Teague, and the drive, and the block by Jericho Sims. Creating a little space, off the bounce. Him going. This is super unusual to see him so quiet. How about the defense here? I mean, Jericho Sims is putting him in handcuffs. In this game on the digital platform, so yeah, it's scan the tickets. There we go. 17 to 11, Texas with it. They hit eight threes, but 18 turnovers have been killer. D off the spin, and he's fouled. Yeah, just Unreal. those three guys. Yep. That's the oh. traffic. Oh. His knee. Still no word of he actually does get into the game, or if that's anticipated, as Sim. He has to create with pressure. Here we go. Sims trying to stay with Bolton. Can he step back? Long two. Not on the game from that point on. Well, it seemed to have an impact. I mean, I know the the Fran Fraschilla pointed out during the broadcast that oh, over inside, couple of fakes. Now we're going to have a great game today. This is going to be a great one. Cool. He's on the offensive end, but he does willingly so many things for this team. As you saw there with the night against the Duke Medical School and you know back in a time when Jim there was no mm. please you had your eyes checked recently. Beautiful move by Garrison and get it done. If Texas wins, they will play the winner of North Carolina Standarding this season. 
Will Baker decided to transfer. He has got his dudes. His Sule is out of control. Jericho Sims stays with him. You know, he mentioned that Vegas team. That was the Larry Johnson, Stacey Ogden Club. Butler looking for some space. Butler probing, gets a piece of the paint inside, gets it to go wide. They can't afford to allow Baylor to go on a spurt here in the last four minutes. Meyer looking for space. Okay. Space the floor, dribble drive into the gap, draw a little help, and just throw it up in space. And the big fellow punch it home. Still no word of he actually does get into the game or if that's anticipated as Sims with the create with pressure. Here we go. Sims trying to stay with Bolton. Can he step back? Long two. No good. Ramey picks up his third foul. Sims nearly got a piece of that, but Harris almost juked himself there. Young on Sims. Left the off glass. No. It's the Texas guards, it's on them, really, to whole serve, I think, because the Baylor rear wearing number 22, Casey Eziagu, is also a key piece. It would be a difference maker for this Wildcat as wearing number five. You've you got to. You, you got to get it to, to Jay on the land. Not that. Well, shot. That's the lane of Jones and Sims. Three on the shot clock. Tough shot from McClung, and he knocks it down. He, and you force the ball to the sideline, right there. And look at, look at, look at the Coleman. That shot. There's Sims again on the switch. Watch him move his feet. The Texas bench is up and loud for this defensive possession. As well as anyone in the... And to your point, friend, Texas is now 16 of 21 at the line. Four of the Oklahoma State already over the 10 foul limit. That's the ninth team foul on Texas. So it's the double bonus for both teams. Fields of a high-level ball game and a 
Mo three twos the entire year. I know he hasn't played in a ton of games because of that micro fracture surgery last season, but must be feeling pretty good. Brady man. Two second differential Reeves with Sims steps back tough three banks it in. Good rebound by Elijah Harkless. OU wants to run. Manic trailer bangs finishing the playoff. Gibson quick three off the inbound against lesser athletes around the basket. This is what Coach Smart's been looking for for him all season. And no dribble, right? Correct. No need to. Well, basketball, instead of putting all that pressure on him, self to have such a great game and not miss a shot. Longhorns on the run. Probably the easiest bucket you're going to get if you see to you. And early, Texas did a good job. They even doubled him, trying to keep the ball from him. He didn't need to go all the ball vocally. And that's why you've got to, as the guards and coaches, run plays for him and do things that matter day. Boy, this is just an old school shootout right now with not a lot of defense from either side. Kazookas. Villanova heavy pick and roll, spread you out, drive it. Robinson Earl short on the desire because there really wasn't a play there for Jones to, to make. And then Brown doing a great job of rebound. Great last year before the season was cut short due to the COVID pandemic and great again this year. Wow, that's from deep. But turnover. Jones has 13 of the Longhorns last 17. Butler step back three talking about some college basketball stuff and you sent me a signed book and a thank you. I don't know where that oh wow Wow tacos it's, uh... Mitchell going to work the bigger Sims on him step back it, it seems to be the closest team and that's going to go a long way to determining whether it's the best Texas forces another turn to do a Zoom call with him yesterday. And again, uh, Jay and I are not in Lawrence, so we are talking virtually to coaches and players. We always talk yesterday. He wants his guards to attack, but not over dribble. Doesn't want them to charge, attack, but then maybe it's the kick out. It's the dribble. It felt so bad for them. Kansas had a team I thought could have won the whole thing. Yeah. Now, the officials, by the way, looked at that play and determined it was just incidental contact. So. Lesser athletes around the basket. This is what Coach Smart's been looking for for him all season. And no dribble, right? Correct. No need to. Basketball, instead of putting all that pressure on him, self to have such a great game and not miss a shot. Johnson. Sims hits the brakes as does McGurl. Ten on the shot clock. McGurl for three. And Mike McCovid. That is quite the comeback story. Shaka Smart now in year number six became dear friends with Augie Garrido. It's too long. Long three. Coleman lands in a big by a guy named John Rhodes, who played at Ohio University a while ago. Long time ago, John. Burton wide open for three. It's there for you. Ten on the shot clock. Texas bench is up. Air Concede in the in the whack in their season ending. Unfortunately, just before they were able to get some tournament. Johnson keeps it alive. Texas turns it over. Oh, and this is the style that Coach Hill was talking about. Just really junking the game. When I went to college.
50-50 ball, and it ends up with Coleman. Saves it. Kuma got a hand on it, and he's got it. Anderson swoops in. Challenged by Sims. Jericho Sims took it away. Unbelievable. That's what we call a, a, a little turn there by Sims. Defender went under. Sims re-screened re again. Likely got caught in midair. And now it's... Austin Reeves, can they get him going? This is super unusual to see him so quiet. How about the defense here? Jericho Sims is putting him in handcuffs. Jones! In the lane, Jaden McGee, no, coming off a career high outing, 20 points against West Virginia. Second chance, easily blocked by Sims. And Jace Febris clears. Fracture surgery on his knee. Still no word of he actually does get into the game or if that's anticipated as Sims with the rejection. And I was. Matthews here as he gives off. And McBride finds Colbert. Quick double team, and then Coleman comes back, and Sims blocked him. Here's Fuller. As Texas presses. Jamie Dixon said recently they've done very well against the press. Sims with the block, and it will stay with TC. Dribble, I mean, we've seen him create space with step backs, pull back moves, can shoot, you know, off of rhythm dribbles. So I don't think that's going to be an issue for him at all in the NBA. Jericho Sims with a big time block there. Many of us, I wasn't around in 79, but as we, as I got to know who Coach McClendon was, it was an outrage because he was a great coach and not just a contributor. 2016, it was rectified by the this and get it done. I know you love music. Their lead upward. That was the 23rd birthday for Andrew Jones, an 11 point effort in that win against Texas State. Longhorns have been off since. Bearcats team against Texas Tech, and they just all but got obliterated out of the gate. And Coach Hooten, I mean, he was, he was struggling with that. Way downtown, Butler. Vital oh, offensive rebound. Wow. That was one heck of an Both offensive bounce. rebound. The baseline, and then they have the vision to find the open man. He knew where his teammate was. Baba trying to muscle his way inside. Got it blocked by Sims. Sims good enough. From Oklahoma State, had another outstanding game, but uh, Texas was able to finish that game off, which was a problem for them, frankly, last year, but it's something they're doing much better this year. Offensive rebound. Surgery on his knee. Still no word of he actually does get into the game or if that's anticipated as Sims with the rejection. And Iowa State. For those of you just tuning in on ESPN2, it's the Texas Longhorns and the Texas Tech Red Raiders. The Here's the freshman PV. No good. Battle for the loose board. And Cunningham comes away with it. Sims and... He runs as well as anyone in the...